Hey, how you doing? It's Greg Becky here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your lenses using the Nikon AF fine tune feature or autofocus fine tune. And in this video, we're going to be using the Spider Lens Cal. All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm using the Spider Lens Cal, and you can find that on Amazon. I'll put a link below in the description box. You can easily click on that link and find it on Amazon. Also, this is a helpful tool. It's a lens align distance tool. So how this works is you put in your camera data here. So if you're using a full frame camera, Canon, Nikon, Sony, or a crop sensor, you would choose that selection. Then you use the focal length of the lens that you want to calibrate. So for example, if you're calibrating an 85 mil lens and your minimum aperture is F14, you would set that here. So 85 mil F14, and then you would click on use suggested distance. And you can see here suggested minimum autofocus 6.97 or seven feet. If you're using the metric system, you can choose meters here. And then what you would do is you would just measure the distance from your camera that's on a tripod to the lens align tool. So seven feet from your camera lens to the lens align tool, that would be the minimum suggested distance. And then again, you would go to 50 mil. If you were doing a 50 mil, I think you're getting the idea. The aperture, let's say it's 2.8, you would set that. You'd set your lens to 2.8, make sure that you're at the minimum, and then you would use suggested distance. And again, it's changed to 4.10 feet. You'd measure that distance. So that's how that works. So once you have your distance, you set up your spider lens cal on a level tripod. And at the same height, you set up your camera on a level tripod at the correct distance for your lens. And then for better results, I recommend shooting tethered. Here I am using capture one so I can get a better look. So I highly recommend shooting tethered, whether it be to Lightroom or capture one. Here we are in capture one and you can zoom in even further. So by hitting Command Plus on my keyboard, I can zoom in a little bit closer into Capture One. You can see I've got a really zoomed in look, and you can see here that I'm forward focusing. So we want the zero mark to be in sharp focus. And you can see here that everything forward of the zero mark, one, two, three, four, even five, four and five, they look the sharpest. So we want ideally the zero point to be sharper. So I made an adjustment with the autofocus fine tune and you can see here, I'll have to zoom out so you can see that, that now we're back focusing. So you can see the difference. So the first one is forward focusing. The second shot, we went too far in the wrong direction. Now we're aft focusing. So what we want is the best balance. So a command plus to zoom in. So we want the zero to be sharp and then the best balance between say plus three and minus three. We really wanna get in that range. And that will ensure that when you're at your minimum focus or your aperture, say F14 or 2.8, if you're shooting at the minimum aperture of your lens, that you're in fact shooting sharp and in focus. So if you aim at someone's eye, then their eye is in focus. So that's why it's important to calibrate your lens using something like the Spider Lens Cal. Now to make the adjustments on your Nikon, press the menu button and look for the little wrench icon and then look for AF Fine Tune at the bottom right there. Click on AF Fine Tune. And you can see here AF Fine Tune, turn that on. Then go to Saved Value. This is where you do your adjustment. So plus or minus 20, up to 20 plus or minus. And then take a shot and then just compare it and then if you went the wrong way, like I showed you in that example, just keep fine tuning that. And then you can also save these values up to 20 different lenses. There's the 105 1.4 right there. Hey, it's Greg back to here again. And I just want to remind you in the beginning of the video, I showed you the online distance calculator. I'm going to put a link to that below in the description box. All you're going to do is click on that link and put in your lens type. Now, if you found this video helpful, please share it on the web in photography groups and forums. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button. Now, one last thing too, if you look below this video, you'll see my name, Craig Beckta. If you click on that, that'll take you to my channel. And if you click on videos, you'll see I have over 100 videos covering photography and retouching. Check out some of those videos as well. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.